Hey everybody, I decided to make a video today that is long overdue, especially given the fact that I run a ketogenic YouTube video channel, okay? So the, the topic today is actually me simplifying the ketogenic diet so that the person that is brand new to this diet or they've been on it a while and they have a hard time trying to explain how it works to other people, they have a really solid understanding without having a ton of extra detail that's really, really not that essential. So first and foremost, what I wanna talk about is when you're gonna hear people tell you that keto, ketogenic, ketosis, it's all unnatural, it's a fad diet, it's not healthy for you. The reality is, is that uh, a state of ketosis is a very normal metabolic state in your body. It is basically your body's way of having a backup plan. So to put it in perspective, uh, your body is used to running on carbohydrates. It is the, the fuel source that it goes after first. So when you have a diet that's balanced with carbohydrates, fat, protein, and maybe you even keep your fats low and you keep your carbohydrates high, your body uses those carbohydrates to fuel itself. And then once it runs out of carbohydrates, it'll start to use the fat to fuel itself. When you do a ketogenic diet, a low carb diet, hopefully high fat in this case with a ketogenic diet, you are going to be cutting back the carbohydrates, which is the usual fuel source. So what happens is when you cut that out of your diet, now your body turns to the fat that you use in your, that's already in your system and it turns it into ketones. Okay, so that may have been overly scientific, it really wasn't, but let's just say that was really over explained. The basic thing you need to know is that once you take one of the fuel sources away, your body has a backup plan and it uses fat as the other fuel source, which is how it was intended. Think about from a, a standpoint of thousands of years ago when people were roaming the earth and they didn't have food as readily available to them, it could literally be feast or famine. So there'd be times where there would not be any food and their bodies had to rely on what was already in there. And at that point, you're relying on the fat that is within your body. Those people didn't die. Well, probably for not, not from that. They probably died from like a woolly mammoth coming after them or something. But that, <clears throat> that is, sorry, that is your body's natural mechanism to survive. When you add the carbohydrates back in, your body uses the carbohydrates first. And like I said, when it runs out of those carbohydrates, it's gonna switch back over to the fat. That is the most basic way I could probably describe it. Again, there's a lot more to it, but I don't want people to get in this mindset of thinking that like, okay, dietary fat that I put into my body is going to harden my arteries, is going to, um, you know, I'm going to gain fat from eating fat. That's just not how dietary fat works at all. It is literally just a fuel source. The unfortunate part is that it has the same name as the fat that's in your body. And so people have demonized it, given it a bad name for so many years. Dietary fat does not equal body fat. It just does not work that way. So what I want you to picture is let's say we're going to think about a car that uses flex fuel. So you have those cars that have the E85, I think is what it's called. And they can also use regular fuel, okay? So both fuels work the same They're to an extent. They do the same thing. They give your body fuel. They give your car fuel. Okay, don't drink gasoline, people. But they give your car fuel, and it gets you from point A to point B. Life is good. The beauty of that is that you can go between the two of them, okay? So now let's switch to a regular car and think about using regular unleaded gas versus like the super high-tech 92 whatever gasoline both are gas both are going to get your car from point a to point b but one is going to be a little bit better on your car's engine on your car's system that whole thing so you spring for the little bit extra to have a better fuel source that's the same thing when it comes down to carbohydrates and fat they both are a fuel source carbohydrates work just as well in your body as fat does however you burn more fat when you eliminate the carbohydrates from your system, okay? And that seems like a really basic way to, to analyze it, but basically it's the equivalent of putting two nozzles of gasoline into your car at the same time because now you have two fuel sources and it overflowing, okay? So if we look back to how calories work in your body, you have two fuel sources and your body doesn't need all that fuel, it's just going to overflow it, and which results in weight gain. I hope that makes sense. 
Anyway, I don't want people to continue to perpetuate this rumor that, that ketosis is not a natural state for you to be in. It is absolutely natural. It is absolutely healthy. There's nothing wrong with it. When you hear people talk about the keto flu, a lot of people think that that's a sign that it's bad and it's not. All that's happening when you're going through the keto flu is your body is switching over from one fuel source to another and it's used to running on this particular fuel source and so it takes an adjustment to get to this other one. Again, super simplified. Please don't think that this is like me trying to be scientific because it isn't. But I just wanted to make it as simple as possible and not have you overthink it. It is a great way of life, but it isn't for everybody. I understand that. I love it. Doesn't mean you have to, but at least be informed about it and at least understand how it works before you, you yourself, or you let other people spout off about how high fat diets are going to clog your arteries, etc. Anyway, I hope that this was helpful. I know it's a really short video. I just thought it was time that I actually said something about how this diet works. As always, there's a ton more information out there. Research it. There's a great YouTube content out there for the ketogenic diet. Also, feel free to send me a message to comment below. Like I said, I made it very, very streamlined and simple. But if you have further questions, guys, I'm always here. I would love to answer anything that you have that comes at you that maybe somebody said and you don't think is true, but you don't want to you know, say the wrong thing, whatever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful for you guys, even though it was like one of the shortest videos I have ever done. I will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for your time. Bye guys.